All right, so we have kind of a uh, breaking news here. Breaking news late on a Sunday night as Russell Wilson is a Pittsburgh Steeler. I was just making my uh, video for the movie channel where I was talking about the Oscars, and all of a sudden this news broke, so I had to stop and make a video about this. Yes, Russell Wilson is going to sign with the Pittsburgh Steelers. It had been heavily speculated. Speculation is over. It is a fi official. Adam Schefter tweeted out uh, that uh, apparently Russell Wilson plays really well against the Steelers, so I don't know. Maybe that factors in. I uh, ha have to imagine it would. Um, you know, so it's a one year deal where, uh, so I'm trying to, you know, go through this right now. It's, it, I don't think the actual details have been announced quite yet, uh, but according to Schefter, it is a team friendly one year deal because the Broncos are paying him, a, you know, a ton of his money right now, which I got to say, kind of a big win for the Steelers, right? Like I, I, I know some people are going to say, wow, Russell Wilson's washed. What are you talking about? Well, he was all right last year. He's not what he once was. There's no denying that. No, you know, his mom would admit he's not quite what he once was at this point, right? But I thought it was all right last year. And if you're getting top 16 quarterback play with, like, basically no money, that's a huge way to have success. And if you can, you know, get that for the Steelers especially, who have kind of struggled over the years at getting, you know, just consistent quarterback play since Roethlisberger left, getting someone like Wilson... I honestly don't think it's a terrible move. And I actually think it's kind of a good move by the Steelers. So while I know some people might make memes and all that stuff, I, I kind of think it's a good move. And I'm surprised more teams weren't in on this. And maybe for Wilson, he's kind of also saying, hey, quarterbacks are usually judged with their win-loss record. I mean, look at what happened with Denver, you know, just a bit ago, right? Where, you know, uh, that was kind of the case just this last season where the Denver Broncos were, you know, they were bad, and then all of a sudden, they start winning games, and everyone's like, wow, Russell Wilson's fixed, when the reality is he kind of played the same way he played all year, um, and then when it went poorly, then everyone's like, oh, Russell Wilson sucks, right? You get judged of wins and losses, and no no one's been better at getting at least nine wins than Mike Tomlin, and so I think it kind of makes a lot of sense. So again, I know there's kind of more exciting uh, things out there uh, first, you know, quarterbacks and all of that. I don't think this is a bad move by Pittsburgh. I really don't. I think it's a really interesting move. And for me personally, like they weren't going to draft a guy like I think this is one of the better case scenarios for them. I really do. So, yeah, those are kind of my quick thoughts on the Russell Wilson to the Steelers. Uh, you know, again, I also should mention. So the reason why we can they can do this is Russell Wilson was cut. He wasn't a regular free agent. So therefore, it's not like, you know, le you know, free agency and starts next uh, tomorrow, but uh or maybe I guess later today when this video is posted uh at this point, but you know, he was already cut, so it's a little bit uh, the rules are a little bit different there. But yeah. Uh those are my thoughts on Russell Wilson and all that. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.